Hello and welcome to this video where my phone just turned off but no we're going to take a look at the new Windows 10 store feature that you might have not known and that is your Xbox game purchase history or yep your Xbox game purchase history being in your Windows store library you don't believe me let's find out let's go to the library section if I go to my library you'll see all your apps and games show up now it takes a time to load but when you do load this look at this there's apps and games this is what you have been used to but there's some changes we'll talk about but let's click show all for games let's wait for this games to load and let's talk about exactly what's going to happen basically every time you buy an Xbox one game or anytime you bought an Xbox one game in the past it is now integrated with your Xbox or not Windows Store purchases so these are the games that I've downloaded or purchased on Windows Phone or Windows 10 Mobile and it's set it's under the heading works on device works on this device and now I could hide a game that I don't want anyone to see that I bought or I don't want myself to remember that I bought a game maybe it was so bad like <clears throat> Flappy Bird but anyway I could hide this but I could also show the hidden apps I've hidden so uh, if I scroll down far enough you'll see that will exhaust the list of games we have ac that actually works on device works on this device and now we have games that doesn't work on this device now you'll start seeing <coughs> games that are for windows pcs exclusively and again this for example Morza, Mo forza motorsport 6 apex this game is a pc game but if you scroll down far enough look at this there is thief right there and the incredible adventures of something so this thief is an xbox one game before i get to that i'll sh oh there's there's also this king's quest is also an xbox one game killer instinct this is an xbox one game there's a windows 10 version but i'll tell you this is the xbox one version let's go a little bit further down there's a uh, not this one but um let's 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 keep going because we're gonna see it resident evil that's a w xbox one game uh, Perma Breath of Life, Xbox One game, Night Squad, Xbox One game, um, So Many Me, that's I think that's Xbox One, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Xbox One game, uh, Massive Callus, Xbox One game, um, Next, uh, that's that's Windows 10, but uh, uh, Child of Light, that's an Xbox One game, Rayman Legends, Xbox One game, so let's see what happens when I click on Xbox One game, let's try the Child of Light, how about that? Let's click Child of Light. Where is it? Or should we click Assassin's Creed? Oh, yeah, why not do that? Let's do Assassin's Creed. And let's see what happens. You'll actually see that Win Xbox Store listing right on top of the Windows 10 Store. So I guess you could do it in uh, uh, landscape mode. This is what you'll see on your PC as well. This is just like the PC version right now. Um, this is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You see the just like the Windows, the new Windows Store's app listing page. You see the featured background uh, in a hidden gradient, as long as the I game icon. Now the buy option is gone because our uh, this app will not work on this device. But I already own the game. Um, there's also a friends who play this game. This is your integration with your Xbox uh, Live friends, and there's screenshots of the game, so you could like click show more and browse through your screenshots all right so let's uh and then now you could see where this device is playable the game is playable on in the when, when in, the, in the other video when i looked at the apps or uh, devices that an app will play on it showed windows pc uh, it's a pc mobile sometimes hololens this time it just shows an xbox and there's game clips that other people have shared and um, there's the architecture x64 it actually shows this game is a 64 64 bit game there's the publisher Ubisoft and uh, ratings and reviews so you could see all this rating actually that's pretty cool I'm pretty sure nothing's gonna happen but if I click this icon I'll, I'll click the publisher name yeah I'll probably see uh, only uh, apps that work on Windows Phone and not Xbox apps they're hidden but and so the only way to find them right now is to have an Xbox one game in your purchase history 
and have them appear here. Now, I'll tell you this. Xbox 360 games will also that are in the Xbox backwards compatibility list will also show up here. Why? Because the uh, the new Xbox 360 games backward compat games um, have been now integrated into the Xbox One store. So now you don't have to go to the Xbox 360 store in the web or the console to get those backwards compat games. You could actually do it from the Xbox One store in the web or the console and the back backwards compat game will have its own Xbox One listing page. So if I buy an Xbox 360 backward compat game it should theoretically show up here. If I do, the, do if I do do that, I'll show a demo of it here. But I don't have any Xbox 360 backward compat game on my purchase history, so it's not going to work. I can't show it to you right now. So, but yeah, you could actually go to the Games app, which will take you to the Xbox app. Here you could see uh, the option to play it from the console, view it in the store. Um, you could this is interesting. Yeah, you could this won't work yet, but um, clicking this view in the store will actually take you to the built-in store in this app because this app hasn't been updated to understand the new update Windows Store yet. But I'm guessing when this comes out, uh, clicking the view in the store will actually show it in the actual store listing page. So you have achievements and game DVR. So stuff people shared via game DVR. So there you go, all full integration with Xbox One. So there, there you have it, guys. Xbox One games that you bought are now integrated in the Windows Store. Have a good one, guys, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you dislike this video, make sure to hit the dislike button twice and subscribe so I'll have more awesome videos coming your way. So there you have it. Windows 10 and Xbox One are now becoming one thing.